The weather is getting really hot in Texas already, even though winter's not over. So this might be the last video in which I get to wear my beloved beanie. I'm a little sad. Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Shaggy, the opinionated hippie. Um, and I'm currently ranking and reviewing every single Frank Zappa album released after he passed away in December of 1993. I've already done the ones that he released prior to passing elsewhere on this channel, if you're interested. And I'm currently on number 33, Roxy, the soundtrack. Um, there's a lot of things I'm trying to remember to say before I actually talk about the songs. Um, number one, as of right now, March 11th, 2021, the day I'm filming this, um, there are four Roxy related releases, 10 CDs in all. Um, Frank, back in 73, booked the Roxy Theater in Los Angeles for a run of shows. Um, he would, his plan was to film the shows, make a movie out of them, release the movie. Um, he also, as he did with everything, recorded all the shows. Um, there were there were technical difficulties during the, the performances, so the video did not sync with the sound, so the movie was unable to be released until, you know, decades later when technology caught up with the problem was able to fix the air. Um, but we did get the albums. So we got Roxy and Elsewhere back in 1974, which consisted of, uh, like most of the tracks were from those Roxy shows with overdubs, unfortunately. Um, and then two other tracks, the Elsewhere tracks, were from May 1974, when it was pretty much the exact same band uh, with the addition, because it was, it was billed as the Mother's 10th Anniversary Tour, with the addition of Jeff Simmons um, on guitar and vocals, uh, Don Preston on keyboards, and then Walt Fowler joined on trumpet. Um, uh, so, Son of Orange County and More Trouble Every Day on the Roxy and Elsewhere album come from those shows. Um, so, we had the Roxy and Elsewhere document. Um, and then, from 2014 to 2018, the ZFT released a whole bunch more Roxy stuff. They released Roxy by Proxy, which were additional live tracks from those shows. Um, they released uh, the Roxy movie um, on DVD and Blu-ray, and with that purchase, you got a CD called Roxy the Soundtrack, which is what I'm reviewing now. And then in 2018, they released Rox, the Roxy Performances, which was a seven disc set that contained every single show from that run, plus rehearsal material. So that last release kind of nullified the first two releases. Roxy and Elsewhere is still relevant because of the overdubs and because of the two songs from Elsewhere, which ZFT, if you're watching, Let's get an Elsewhere show. Just call the box set Elsewhere and release a bunch of May 74 shows. Um, those were good sets. They did a lot of like deep cut mother's tracks. Um, there were like really early, early versions of Florentine Pogan and Andy in those shows. Like th that would be a good release. They weren't very good versions, but they've yet to be released. So they're worth hearing. Um, sorry for getting off on that. Um, and the reason I'm reviewing this, even though you can only get this CD by purchasing the movie, um, which it is a good movie. I recommend it. Um, it is the live performance of the Roxy shows and the way it kind of devolves and gets chaotic at the end. Um, it's worth watching for that. But um, the reason I'm reviewing this is if you go to zappa.com, the, the Roxy, the soundtrack is part of what they call the official discography. And I'm trying to cover everything that's in the official discography. The only one I'm not covering is one of the birthday bundle releases, which was the Baby Snake soundtrack, which unlike this actually is the soundtrack with like all the talking and everything else. And it's like the same length as the movie. And I'm not, I'm not, have no interest in listening to that ever. So, um, I think I've covered all my bases on this. So the reason this has fallen as far back as number 33, the music is incredible. If you're not a big Roxy fan, then this CD or probably uh, Roxy by Proxy is a little bit better than this. They both cover a lot of the same material, but the things on Roxy by Proxy that are different, I like better than the things that are here that are different. Though the things that are on here that are different are also amazing. So it's a great album. But because all of it is on the Roxy performances, it's all the way down here on number 33. And the Roxy performances are like way up there towards the very end of this list, like the top, like when, I, when I'm almost done, almost to the end. Uh, but here's what's on here. 
Uh, 11 tracks. Um, it starts off with Frank apologizing to the audience. Something terrible has happened. Truly, it was terrible. It would prevent this movie from getting made for decades. Um, and then explains, um, and then the band goes into cosmic debris. And it's not your normal cosmic debris with the dun 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 dun, dun, dun where they just start off playing. Um, they're playing to kill time while they fix this problem. So it starts off as this pretty laid back, casual, but still pretty funky blues jam. And then it clearly is going in the direction of cosmic debris. So Frank just steps up and starts singing, well, the mystery man came over or whatever he says. I'm not good with lyrics. And um, he said I was out of sight. Um, and so they play what is probably one of the best versions of Cosmic Debris, which I'm not even sure they were planning on playing at this moment. But it is really good. It's relaxed. The solos are good. It's fun. It's much slower than like the 80s versions. Um, I am not a fan of Cosmic Debris for the most part. This one is really, really good. Um, that goes into the suite, the five song suite that was very common for the 73 band, um, Penguin and Bondage. Um, into To Mercy Deween, into the Dog Breath Variations, into Uncle Meat, Dog Meat, into Redunzel. Great set of songs, great sequence of music. Um, then we get two songs of what is a pretty common trio, um, the Village of the Sun, Echidna's Arf, Don't You Ever Watch That Thing trio. There's no Village of the, of the Sun, but you get Echidna's Arf with you and Don't You Ever Watch That Thing. Um, it's a short Don't You Ever Watch That Thing. Um, it's like seven minutes long. The one from the first show of the Roxy performances, which I will someday talk about, is like 13 minutes long. That one is really good. Um, and because the sequence of these songs pretty much replicates the sequence of the very first show of the Roxy performances, that's another reason why I don't listen to this a lot. That very first show opens up with this cosmic debris and then it kind of goes into the same series of songs. Um, I would rather listen to that than this. Um, then you get uh, Cheapness, the percussion version where just Ruth and Chester and Ralph play it. And then Frank talks about monster movies and then they play the full band version of Cheapness um, exactly over again. Um, and then the whole thing closes out with Bebop Tango of the old Jasmine's Church, pretty much the same as the Roxy version, about a minute longer. Um, but yeah, so that's what this is. If there were no Roxy performances and no Roxy by proxy, this would be much, much, much closer to number one. But as it is with those two releases, this is highly redundant. And I pretty much only listen to it when, um, when I, when I want to hear Bebop Tango and the Cosmic Debris, and instead of like, you know, skipping tracks, I can just put this on for those bookends. Sometimes that's the urge. And so that's when I put this on. Um, if you're not that big of a Roxy fan, this is a good CD. Um, Roxy by Proxy is better if you're gonna avoid like the seven disc massive set. But the seven disc massive set is amazing. But that's it. I'm done talking about this. Let me know what you think. Comment down below if you bought the movie. Um, otherwise, you probably have never heard this. I don't think it's streaming anywhere, so. Yeah, that's it. Roxy the Soundtrack, number 33. Thanks. Bye.